This is fun. It's 12 feet, 12 feet in diameter. It weighs near six tons, emblazoned with Waterford crystal, lit by 32,256 Phillips Luxion Rebel LEDs. It must be the Times Square New Year's Eve ball or it's Sarah's uh, uh, gown for tonight. One of the Whoa. two. Uh, there it is. Crystals. And joining us, Edward Crawford. He is a chief executive officer, Phillips Lighting uh, North America. This is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun, and what amazed me the most with the stats on this this ball is that it consumes the same amount of energy per hour that it takes to operate two traditional home ovens. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's pretty amazing technology, really. We, we converted the whole ball to LED a few years ago, and at the time, the biggest concern was standing out in Times Square because there's so much light and so many things going on. But the amazing thing, when you see the size of that ball, you go on the roof 12 feet in diameter, uh, and it uses 80% less energy than the ball it replaced. So it's a, not only is it uh, beautiful and can do all these wonderful uh, things, it's, green. it's very energy efficient. Yeah, it's exactly. green. And this has been a change recently. It is. We, we, uh, Philips first got involved with the ball for the Millennium Ball in 1999, and we converted it from incandescent technology to halogen technology. And then about five years ago, we converted it to LEDs. And a few years ago, we converted it to LEDs that could be out all year round. So the ball actually sits out on the roof in the elements, 365 How much does it cost to make that ball? Oh, it costs millions of dollars to make that ball, uh, which is the good news is it's very reliable technology. <clears throat> In the uh, four years we've been using this current ball, we've only had to replace, of those 12,256 uh, Philips <laughs> LEDs, we've only had to replace two. Two. Uh, in all that time sitting out on the roof. Can you, so. like, run Congress? Could you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, the, the amazing thing as well is that the LED lighting in the ball has a rated average life of 30,000 hours. That's, That's right. three times the lifespan of previous lights. The, you That's say the ball, the, the ball is going to stay out there. Is it going to be lit at further points during the year? Yeah, the, the Times Square Alliance uh, decided that they wanted the ball that could be out 365 days a year. So uh, the old ball, we used to bring it in right <clears throat> after New Year's, but now right. it's out there in the rain and the snow. And uh, I was up on the roof last night, and everything's working great. It looks the same as it did last year. Um, that's the wonderful thing about LED technology. It's very robust. You don't have to worry about it. It works very well in all temperatures. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really just not energy efficient. It's much more reliable. Can you quantify the benefit that this has for Philips? Clearly, it's a marketing opportunity. Everybody and their mother watches around the world the Times Square ball dropping. Is it just about exposure for you? Well, it's about a couple things for Philips. We first got involved, as I said, in 1999. And one of the great things about the Times Square Alliance and, and the Times Square Ball is it really allows us to experiment with new technology and push the envelope in terms of what the lighting technology can do. But from a PR standpoint, I mean, look, uh, I grew up in New York. Uh, I remember sitting down in that crowd mm -hmm. with my family and, and uh, you know, everybody watches that ball. But so one, of the great, terrific. one of the great surprises of 2012 was Saudi America, the idea of technological innovation, technological progress, helping us with oil. You mentioned an 80% I'm going to call it voltage savings or whatever, uh, with this ball. Five and ten years from now, where do you see the innovation of Philips being? Is it incremental, or do you see a jump condition to better utility? Well, certainly in the lighting space that I'm responsible for, it, we've had really a paradigm shift now with LED technology. We've really gone from, from what I would call analog, which is traditional incandescent lighting, to digital lighting with LEDs. So that paradigm shift has been tremendous. But where it goes from here is really going to be mm -hmm. about controllability. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of that innovation it will be game changing. I mean, we just relit the uh, the uh, Empire State Building, for example. And if you saw that on, or, or covered that, you Fish saw was there last night. Well, no, it, it was tie-dye. I mean, <clears throat> there's so many more yeah. colors. It's exactly. so much color. What you can do with that, I mean, we had the music playing to Alicia Keys, and it was magnificent. Yeah. That controllability of lighting is really where the innovation is. Well, you can put well. faces in there, right? We could put Tom's faces face on there. Right on, on the, the Times Square Ball, we could literally put a picture. Ed Crawford, thank you so much.